Hi, you're watching the Great Cardigan Wrap-Up. This is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter, and I've got some pattern reviews for you. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today, I hope, will be the first of uh, an annual cardigan wrap-up. It's getting to be that kind of weather. Um, tonight, it's going to be single digits here, and I can hardly believe it. But um, we are going to be walking through a few of the cardigan uh, patterns that I have made. And then I've also created a playlist where some of my sewing bloggers have um, sent their cardigan links to me. And I'm making a playlist so that you can have a nice, inclusive group of videos to watch and be really aware of what's out there in cardigans. So this episode of Dorothy's Daughter is dedicated to someone who helped us all raise our kids, who made the cardigan cool, and that is Mr. Fred Rogers. Um, I heard that tomorrow is Kindness Day and everyone is supposed to wear a cardigan in his honor. So I uh, can't think of a better time to release this video. Um, you'll have to do some quick sewing to, to wear one tomorrow, but it's possible you could whip one out tonight. Anyway, this video is dedicated to the memory of Fred Rogers. Um, thank you, Mr. Rogers. Um, and I would sure want you to be my neighbor. All right, so welcome to all my new subscribers. We have like really shot up in subscribers in the last two weeks I've just gained so many and I'm so so thankful um welcome to you all I hope I get to chat with you in the comments um from time to time and um I'm just thrilled beyond belief you have no idea how much this means to me to um be creating something that is useful to you so um welcome and if you have not subscribed and you'd like to be part of this growing community go ahead and click the little subscribe button down below and if you tap that bell you'll be notified when i post a new video so dressing in the winter time for me basically consists of what cardigan am i going to wear today <laughs> Um, I love them. They're so versatile and with the stage of life that I'm in, I have my own little personal summers. And if, you understand, if you're a woman of my age, then you know what I mean. Um, so cardigans can be taken off till you cool down, put back on when you get cold again. Um, they're just versatile and they're just a wonderful thing to have in your wardrobe. So it's no secret that I love them <laughs> and um, I really have been in search of the best cardigan pattern and I have some candidates for you. Um, there's a few I did not get to make that I wanted to. I'm going to share those as well just because um, I think they look really good. So for one reason or another, so I'm going to go ahead and share those. I'm not going to rate them, but I'll go ahead and share them. So what I did was I rated cardigans on a scale of 10 and um, I gave two points for inclusivity of size. So um, if it is sized so that many women can wear it, I gave it a higher rating. So I, I devoted two points to that. I devoted two points to style. Um, I would like it to be current um, or classic, depending on what mood I'm in that day. So there were two points for style. I, I allocated two points for fit. Now, um, meaning I might have to make adjustments, but is a typical fit for a real woman's body? That's what I'm after. And that is not difficult um, with a cardigan to do, but um, it still bears um, looking at uh, when we're comparing patterns. I also allocated two points for drafting and instructions. Um, some patterns are drafted better than others, for sure, and some instructions are written better than others. So I wanted to um, basically have a rating for that so that that gets included. And then I also um, gave one point towards versatility of the garment. So can you make it up in different ways? Can you make it with different fabrics? Um, can you wear it different seasons? So that was one point. And so the last point 
I um, assigned was for coziness. Um, I called it the coziness quotient. And that's just that feeling when you put on a cardigan and you wrap up in it and you feel warm and snug and, um, and there's just certain sweaters that do that for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk about five different cardigans that I have made this calendar year. And um, they're either on me, on my mannequin, or hanging behind me. You see, I've made a lot of them. Um, well, I actually have a few that I am not showing because they'll be Christmas gifts. So I'll have to wait for those. Um, but I have made, uh, I will talk about them, but I can't say who they were for or show what they look like. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Wembley from Seamwork. Um, I made this one to go over my um, summer dresses and um, I chose a like a Liverpool type fabric and it is great. Um, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Um, for size inclusivity, I gave it a two. It goes zero to 26, so that's pretty inclusive. Um, I gave one point for style because I'm not completely thrilled about those points in the front. I think they're okay, but I think there's some dresses where it just doesn't fit. So I did give it um, dock a point for style. Um, I gave it two points for fit. It came together well. It was a very expected fit um, from what I normally would get from something like that. And um, no problems fitting that at all. And I also gave it two points for drafting and instructions because I feel like the instructions were really well written and I didn't have any problem with the construction as far as something not fitting really well or, uh, I mean, pieces not fitting together or anything of that nature. So I gave it two points for drafting. Um, I didn't give it any versatility points because basically um, you, they only show you one way to make the Wembley, but I actually, um, made it short sleeved for the summertime and springtime. Um, so there's really only those two ways that you can make it. Um, it doesn't show any other views. And um, so it's not a real versatile pattern. Um, and I also gave it a zero for cozy because I mean, it's just not that kind of garment. But it is a great cardigan. It is a different um, season cardigan. And some of the other ones I'm going to be talking about could be adapted for that as well. Um, but um, I did enjoy this one. Um, I'm not sure I like the points in the front, like I said. Um, so the total score for the Wembley is a seven. As I was chatting, I realized that this one was not hanging behind me. This is the Wembley. And um, as you can see, I did make it short sleeved and I did um, pretty much uh, keep everything the same um, otherwise. And it was a really nice make. Um, it's great for over my summer dresses, like I said, but um, I didn't realize I didn't have it hanging behind me, so here it is. The next cardigan is basically on my greatest hits list of patterns ever, and that's the Blackwood cardigan. I have, I have made five of them this year, and I absolutely love them. Um, and as I went to explore other cardigans um, unintentionally, I have seen how they stack up against the Blackwood. So some things were better and other things were not as good, but um, the Blackwood has been sort of my plumb line for cardigans because it's just the one I usually default to and make. And I'll scroll some pictures of the Blackwoods that I've made here as I'm talking. Okay, for size inclusivity, it doesn't get better than this one. Um, it basically goes up to size 30. I think it's zero to 30. Um, so it is very inclusive of size. So I'm bravo to Helen's Closet for that. I also gave it two points for style because I feel like it's a very current and I feel like it appeals to all different ages. And I absolutely love the style of that one. Um, it's very flattering to every body type. I gave two points for fit as well. Although I maybe should have taken a half a point off because um, I did, that is the only cardigan that I had to do a full bicep adjustment on. Um, and I, I really did have to, I would say with, with, um, the Blackwood to size up because you're going to be putting it over things and, um, it does run a little tight in the arms. So, um, 
Once I sized up though, it wasn't bad, but I still had to do like a three quarter of an inch bice, full bicep adjustment on the Blackwoods, which I did not have to do on some of the others. Um, I gave it um, two points for drafting and instruction. Um, fabulous drafting. Um, everything is sized. The band goes around exactly the way it should. Um, no issues there whatsoever. The instructions are clearly written. It's very, very beginner friendly. And um, it's a just wonderfully drafted uh, pattern. As far as uh, versatility, I went ahead and gave it that point because you could make this up in different fabrics. You could make this up in fleece and just be completely cozy, or you could make it up in a super really lightweight um, jersey and have it just be for a spring cool day. So um, it's very versatile. And um, for the cozy quotient, I did give it a zero though, because unless you make it in fleece, it's not going to be super warm. So the Total score for the Blackwood is nine. So, so far we have seven for the Wembley, nine for the Blackwood, and these are just my ratings. Yours may be totally different. Now we come to the Canyon Cardigan by Love Notions. And um, this one for size inclusivity uh, is very, very good. It goes from extra small to extra, extra, extra large. And um, I have nothing but good things to say about their sizing. Um, when it comes to Love Notions, they're working through their patterns as we speak and extending the um, plus size to 5XL. They have not done that to my knowledge yet. I might be wrong, so you may want to check, but um, the pattern that I have only goes up to uh, XXXL. But um, that's still really super inclusive um, and their patterns really fit well too. Uh, For style, I gave it a two because I think it has a really lot of neat little features like the little pleat in the back and um, you can put the little inseam pockets right here. Um, it's got a lot of cute details. Um, so I did give it a two. Um, for fit, it's a fabulously fitting cardigan. I had no issues whatsoever. Um, I didn't even do my usual adjustments that I do on Love Notions patterns. I did not drop the bodice down any at all. I did not do a full bicep adjustment and I did not do a narrow shoulder adjustment. And I typically don't when it comes to cardigans and even jackets because um, you're going to have things under them, so a little more room up here is not necessarily a bad thing. When it comes to drafting and instructions, Love Notions is amazing, and this pattern was the same. Um, very clear instructions. Even though there's a few details um, in this pattern, I still think it would be beginner-friendly um, as long as you're comfortable with knits. Um, as far as versatility goes, they have several different views and they look a lot different. So you get a lot for your money with that pattern. Um, and it depends on what fabric you make it in. Um, too, I made mine in French Terry, I, which I got from Minerva. And I'll put a link to the Minerva blog post that I did on this cardigan. Um, it was wonderful in French Terry. It doesn't have the drapiness that some other fabrics might have had. Um, I'd like to make it up in something a little drapier next time um, to show off that pleat in the back a little bit more. And um, it's just a great pattern. When it comes to coziness, I gave it a one because I did make mine in French Terry and it is just a really nice warm cardigan that you can wear like on a crisp fall day or on the winter time inside. So, um, and I, I like French Terry for that a lot. So um, I did give it a one. So the Canyon cardigan has a score of 10, 10 out of 10. The next cardigan is the one I'm wearing. This is the Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. And I'd also like to add that this pattern is free if you join their Facebook group. Um, I gave this one a one in size inclusivity because it only goes up to 22. It goes six to 22, which is a lot narrower range than some of them. At first glance, this looks exactly like the Blackwood, but I have a few differences to point out. Um, one, is that, um, and we'll move on to style here as I say this, I gave it a two for style because I do like the style and I do think it's really current. Um, but um, as far as the style goes, the differences are that this band is quite a bit, well, it's quite a bit thicker than on the Blackwood, which leads to some 
issues of applying the band and making it lay flat. I, I determined that maybe it wasn't meant to lay flat. I'll get to that in a minute when I talk about the um, instructions and drafting. Um, but I did give it a two for style. Um, for fit, it fits wonderfully. The sleeves fit better than the Blackwood. Um, I will say that. It, uh, I had no adjustments whatsoever made to this pattern. Um, I made a straight size 20 and I had no problems with the fit. Um, normally I would teeter between an 18 or 20, but when it comes to cardigans, I, I usually size up. So um, I made a straight size 20 and it fits wonderfully. It's got plenty of room. Um, my arms have plenty of room, that's what I love. <laughs> When it comes to drafting and instructions, the instructions were a bit confusing at times, I thought. Um, maybe it's just because I'm used to them laid out in a different way. I've heard really good things about Sinclair patterns, so it could just be that I'm not used to their format. Um, but I found them to be a little bit, and I tried to, a lot of times I don't even look at instructions anymore. But... I tried to on purpose because I was making this for review, okay? So, um, and I thought it was not super clear. Uh, so I did give it a one, um, but mainly the thing I had issues with was the band, the front band here. Um, Normally you would stretch this around here and then um, have it not stretch on the straight part on the front. Well, this one was way too long for that. So these bands need to be shortened. And um, also though, if you're gonna do that, they also need to be skinnier. So there you are at the Blackwood, that's the difference. <laughs> I, I did only give it a one for drafting um, because of that. Versatility, I gave them the whole point for versatility because it's just like the Blackwood, you can make it out of different fabrics. Um, it did have a lot of more options. It has a duster um, option, which um, none of the others had, um, which is a, the like below the knee length. And it had the cropped and the, the classic, I think, and then the long and then the duster. So quite a bit of versatility there. So I would definitely, um, I definitely gave it the full point for that. Um, when it comes to cozy, just gave it a zero because it's really not that type of a cardigan. So the Harper cardigan got a score of seven. So, so far we have the Wembley with a score of seven, the Blackwood with a score of nine, the Canyon with a score of 10, the Harper with a score of seven. That score of seven might offset though, if, it, if you understand that it's free. If you are a beginner, I would spring the money for the Blackwood though. What a very nice pattern and I very much appreciate it since it was free. Um, and I am going to try some of their other patterns because on their website, they have some very current, cool looking designs. So I think it's worth a look. Next is the Clueless Cardigan. Um, for size inclusivity, I only gave it a one, um, one out of two, because um, they are not size numbers, they're size colors. And I found it a little confusing um, to know um, what you know, what the size represents. So if I'm comparing apples to apples, it's very hard to know if it's inclusive or not, except that it does go up to a 54 inch hip. So that's pretty good, um, but I'd like to know how that compares. So, um, and I could have done some research and found out, but I just, I docked one point for that just because I'd prefer to have the number sizes. Um, and style, I gave it a two, it's very stylish. And um, I, I love the style of this cardigan. In um, fit, I gave it a two. I absolutely did no adjustments to that pattern. I made size yellow and it fit me perfectly. As far as drafting goes, I gave it a one. And the biggest reason that I only gave it one instead of two um, is the drafting instructions. The instructions were not clear about the buttons and um, I like to know how many buttons to buy and how large, and that was not anywhere in the instructions. I even did a search of the PDF to see where the word button was, and I could not find anywhere where they said what size button would be best. And I think that people, when you're shopping and you haven't had time to open up the pattern and look at it, it's nice to know um, what size button that you need. So um, I took a point off for that. Now, when it comes to versatility, 
I only I gave it a half a point instead of one. Um, and that is just because it's a classic cardigan. It doesn't really lend itself, uh, other than other fabrics, it doesn't really lend itself to differences, although it does have a lot of different lengths to choose from. And so basically it's different lengths and um, V-neck or crew neck. When it comes to the cozy quotient, I gave it a one um, because this one, especially the one I made this sweater knit that's like, it's not cashmere, but it has that feeling of that really soft, soft sweater knit. Um, and I made, made it out of that and it's extremely cozy. So um, I gave it the one for coziness. Um, so those were the five um, patterns I made this year. Now, honorable mention is the scarf neck pattern from Swoon Patterns, which is a free pattern. It looks wonderful. I have it on my cutting table right now, but I just didn't get it done over the weekend. So I can't really review it because it isn't cut out, but I will say that looking at it, it looks like a great pattern. It's also free. And the other one that I really want to mention, and I know it's great because I, I just know it is because it's Love Notions, and that's the Boyfriend Cardigan. Um, I actually, on my to-do list of ones I wanted to get done this weekend, I had that one at the bottom because several other people um, in the playlist ha are uh, reviewing the Boyfriend Cardigan. So um, it's not because I didn't want to sew it. I just want to be clear. Um, it's because it's already covered by some other people and it's a wonderful looking pattern and I'm positive since it's Love Notions that the drafting, I'm sure it would get a 10, although I can't say for sure, but I think it would. So that is what I have for you today on the cardigan. So just to wrap up, we have the Wembley at seven points. We have Blackwood at nine points. We have the Canyon Cardigan from Love Notions at 10 points. We have the Harper Cardigan at seven points. And we have the Clueless Cardigan from Made for Mermaids at seven and a half points. So there you have it. That is my cardigan review for today. That encompasses the cardigans I've made in this calendar year, which have been a lot actually. And um, I hope that helps you with your pattern choices. Do follow the link in the description to the playlist, which is going to be um, a playlist of other bloggers' cardigan reviews. And do wear a cardigan tomorrow in memory of Mr. Rogers. If you make a cardigan and if, or have made a cardigan and um, you want to post it to Instagram, just tag it. Just do a hashtag of Great Cardi Wrap Up 2019 and um, we can all kind of see each other's uh, creations. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you on Friday with a continuation of the men's uh, dress shirt sew along and um, next week we will be going over um, my favorite baby gift patterns. So stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day and uh, happy sewing.